Well, I thought up front it was night and day from last week. Yeah, I, I felt like we, we played well, both sides of the ball. Uh, obviously, they had some really talented receivers, and I thought our defensive backs did a great job of, of keeping them contained all night. They made a few catches, but uh, we made tackles when they did, and that's a big key. Uh, and I think probably that the main thing was uh, just a discipline assignment football. If you look, they, they had some crucial turnovers. They had some crucial penalties. Uh, and, and I told the kids all week that, you know, a game like this, discipline goes a long ways. And if we'll have discipline, uh, you'll have a chance to beat them. And, and I felt like we really we did that. You know, we, we eliminated a lot of our penalties. We eliminated uh, – we, we still had some balls on the ground, but we got them back. Uh, but I just felt like we were the more disciplined team, and, and a lot of times that, that wins games. Offensively, you had – you were most of the time going forward. There were not very many no gains or losses like last week too. Yeah, yeah. I th you know, obviously – uh, there was a few th things there that missed assignments, you know, got to get to film and see. But uh, for the most part, I felt like we, we moved the ball consistently. Uh, we, we had a couple explosive plays. We probably need a couple more. You know, we, we had the big run by Isaiah and, and in the past to uh, CJ. But uh, I felt like it, it, was, it was back to being consistent. We were able to move the ball. We had our whole playbook in. Uh, we were able to do multiple things. Uh, and that's always a good sign. Thanks, sir. Cam Allen, Isaiah Hull, uh, big win, 40 to nothing over the Osho. And Isaiah, I'm going to start with you. You had a 67 yard run. We're, we were trying to think back. That might be the longest run of the year by anybody. How's it feel when you're a fullback and you break one off like that? <laughs> it's tiring getting down there. It's fun at first getting seeing that wide open field, but 40 yards into it, I was breathing heavy and I was slowing down. I knew someone was going to catch me eventually. You almost made it. I, I almost did. I almost did. It was close. Uh, what was what was going right offensively tonight? That um, Well, we were going to really hit 50 trap at the beginning of the game because last year that's what really worked. But uh, number 75, he really just sat a gap and he took that away. So then we transferred over to 63 dive and that really helped us a lot. Cam, we talked halftime early in the third quarter that we had called your name a ton and then you had a sack for like 15 yards. I don't know how many yards by it, but uh, were you having uh, having a, a fun night yeah, flying was, around the field? I was having a heck of a time. Just having fun with the boys. Doing us around. Like, still, still playing. Like, like when we were on the field, we were, we were locked in, but on the sideline, we were definitely we were having a good time. And that, that's just that's what we play this for. What was the game plan coming in? Just stop the run. The plan was stuff the run and trust the DBs to do their thing. And uh, I think we I think we did that pretty well. Right. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Gavin Lawhon, Grayson Hart, three turnovers between the two of you and. Grayson, you had two fumble recoveries, so I'll start with you. Tell me how those plays unfolded. Uh, well, you know, great to my coaches. They drop, they drop a great defensive plan each week, and I just follow what they tell me to do, and sure enough, I come through, and the ball's right there. They so. tell you if the ball is well, right in front of you, pick it up, right? It's yeah. <laughs> you know, I do what I can. I just come through, and the ball's on the ground. Just got to get on it. Gavin, talk to me about your interception. That was a heck of a play. Yeah, I should have had one right before that, and then they went back to me, and it was kind of a, the ball was in the air for a little bit, it ran like a 10-yard out, and I just undercut it. I'm sure the D-line was there for pressure. It wasn't a great ball. Just jumped it, picked it off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought, you know, five minutes into this one, the speed they showed on the opening kickoff and a couple of those early plays, I thought, oh, this might be trouble. What, what were you doing? to contain their speed? Um, a lot of, gosh, we were just riding the waves, just like yeah. the coach said. They get good kick return, and we just, we just keep batting. We don't let it phase us, just yeah. riding the waves. Yeah, co coach tries to tell us it's going to be like a roller coaster and just try and even it out as well as we can, and that's what we did tonight. So. How's it feel getting the win coming off that loss against Carthage? Kind of get back in the win column. Feels good. Feels good. All right. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>